Well, back with you here on Narch Live's edition of me feeling very old. Uh, as you know, if you've been watching all week, I've known the man to my right, Brandon Hawkins, for quite some time. And it is a pleasure to meet, however, I've known of uh, his fiance, Callie Flanagan, for quite some time. 2018 Olympic gold medalist for Team USA, women's ice hockey, and of course, Kill Cup champion, Brandon Hawkins. You guys just got to get to making some babies here, and, and we'll have a Stanley Cup champion out of the mix, I think. I mean, if they get her feet, yes. <laughs> and if they get mine, they're not, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> Who, who's got the better hands? All right. All right. Well, that's nice. The like roller hockey. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. nice. Uh, obviously, here at the 2021 Narch Finals, uh, some questions for both of you guys. Uh, unfortunately, you, you just get eliminated from pro. I, I know it's been an eight. Ridiculously emotional roller coaster for you over the last week and a half, two weeks, from winning the Kelly Club to, uh, Cup to a tragic loss to coming here and just everything that's going on. Uh, where are you finding the joy right now? Obviously, it's got to be great having your fiance. Uh, it's, it's awesome. She's, she called me down. Like, and to come back and play Nars Chef, I feel like Natty would want to be a couple like, no matter what. And that was in the back of my mind the whole time, try to try to play each other and do things like that. And then on top of it, for her to get to experience her first roller hockey tournament ever, this is this is quite quite a treat. Is there a chance we're going to see you on uh, Blades anytime soon, or are you going to stick to the ice? Maybe next year. <laughs> Maybe next year. <laughs> Easy. Happy we, had, we had something in the works with Joe Cup. Something in the works. All right, all right. I like that tease. That's a teaser right there. Uh, Kelly, the, the residency roster just recently announced for Team USA. 27 of you going, trying to make a 23-person team. Tell me about that process for you. Obviously, some relief that the residency roster has been announced, but it's all business now. Yeah, it's been, it's been a crazy year, especially with COVID. Um, we've had a few camps um, for the past year, and so I think finally getting to June camp, having Olympic tryouts, um, and then you know having those meetings at the end and knowing that you made you know, the first kind of cut, the, 20, the 27, um, definitely, like I said, release. Um, but also, it's just, once that, the camp ended, it's time to get back to work and see what happens come the fall. How do you two play off each other uh, in terms of training, in terms of hockey talk? Is there a lot of that uh, away from the rink, or do you kind of, are you guys both able to separate it a little bit? We can't separate it. <laughs> it's 24-7. Yeah, it's 24-7. She's trying to make me better. I'm trying to make her better. And it's, it's honestly a blessing that we can train and skate together because she sees things I don't see. I see things she doesn't see. And, and on and on from there. And, and honestly, the past year, we've both become way better players. Than when you look ahead to this next year, it's, it's going to be another crazy year. You're obviously going to be at the residency. You've got everything you've got going. How do you find that balance? How do you find time to be... Uh, fiance and eventually the woman. Well, she's the rock star. Right? Like I was, I had to play all year, so she was she was on the hook for coming to visit me and everything like that. So hopefully this next year, I mean, perhaps, I hope you hear me. I want to play for you. Um, I can, hopefully in that sense we get a couple of days off. I get to go visit her when she's when she's doing her thing and we pay the favor that she's done for me for the past two years. I, I think it. I think it. it it's got to strengthen a relationship when you can bounce back and forth and do that sort of thing because you both understand the demands of what hockey entails. Yeah, I was going to say, too, like, I think it makes it easier for us because we can relate. Really, um, and so I think like me knowing that I'm chasing what I want in my dreams and I know that Brandon's doing the same thing. And so I think it makes it easier for us to be able to understand, you know, like maybe right now we can't see each other, but we're both doing what we want to be doing right now and then eventually we'll come back together again. Callie, we'll know in 2018. Just take me through the emotions of that. Your 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 first time with such an honor. I mean, it's it's the pinnacle. I've covered Olympics. I've seen the emotion. I know what goes into it. Uh, it's intense. I just remember being in South Korea and being able to share that with all my amazing teammates. Um, literally the coolest moment ever. My whole family was there. Um, being able to share that with them, and you know, it's something that you dream of since you're a little girl, especially moments ice hockey. It's like you said, it's the pinnacle of the sport. Yep. Um, so being able to achieve that, like I said, with my teammates and my family there was incredible. How do you like the, the the chances this year? Obviously, it's always that toss up between you guys and Team Canada. Uh, I loved watching those epic battles, but how's it stacking up right now? How would you handicap? Yeah, I mean, I think like like any year, um, like you said, the, the rivalry is so intense. Um, but I think. We are confident in what we have and what we bring to the table. I think we have, similar to 2018, we have a, a good mix of um, veterans and then a lot of young talent coming up as well. And so I think it will get interesting to see how the roster ends up shaping out. Um, but I think 
like I said, we're pretty confident with what we're bringing to the table, and we're excited to get started. How about for you? What's the rest of the summer look like in terms of roller hockey playing and talking? Well, I'm just playing state wars, and that'll be uh, that'll be at the end of the roller season for me. And then, I mean, I already I, we got done at the Kelly Cup on Friday. I already started skating on Tuesday, so it was I'm already back in the swing of things and, and skating and training. Like it's uh, I'm assuming you get a day with the cup. Have you started to think about how that's all going to work, or how is that all the, playing out? I don't know if the cup's in one piece at the moment. Uh-huh, I see. So <laughs> I, might get, I might get a day with a piece of the cup, if that helps. But, uh, no, it's, uh, it's a blast. So, I mean, I, I don't think they do that in the Eastern League, but, okay. uh, but we'll see. All right. Well, I, I, I hope they do, and uh, you have my phone number, so I expect them to know that's definitely something I'd, uh, I'd pop back to wherever for and enjoy. We'll, we'll put the good word in for apps for you. Love, I'd love to hear it. All right, uh, Kelly, best of luck in residency. Can't not wait to see you competing in a year from now for our country again. And uh, I'll be definitely rooting for another gold medal. Yeah. Kelly Flanagan, Brandon Hawkins. Hockey royalty. They're going to have a kid. And it's either going to win a gold medal or a Stanley Cup. You have it right here on tape, officially. We'll be back with more, uh, more Kelly Cup. More any Cup. It will be a successful hockey player. We'll see you next time on Cartoon.